This is the first test with the G Pewter uh, with the shift registers shifting out to all the relays. Um, the relay little packs just came in um, and I wired them up to the uh, shift register board which then goes to the G Pewter. <coughs> um, put the relays on a piece of plexiglass that insulates them so when I mount, go to mount them I won't have to worry about any shorts. And here we go. I uh, have a test routine set up here. As you can see, it shows all the shift registers, and I can push the buttons to go through a series of tests. I'm going to skip the, skip the first register because that's actually the register inside the G-Pewter that runs uh, at the garage controls. Um, so there's no LEDs or not even hooked up to any relays outside here. Um, so if I push this button here, it's going to start the uh, process. And you can see it's clicking through each one. That uh, works on the uh, the red LEDs on the left. That's the uh, indicators for the uh, shift registers, and the green ones here, obviously, are for the relays. So I know both are working. And then I can push this button down here, which is going to do the uh, third register. <coughs> kind of slow, but it's nice for the, the test pattern here the diagnostics. Um, and then this uh, one up here actually, as you can see, it says all, that turns all of them on at one time. Again, just do uh, test things a little bright so you know uh, things are working. Um, these relay boards require their own separate 5 volt power, which I have here in my little homemade power supply. Um, so I'm going to have to get my Jeep to supply this a separate 5 power on the accessory plug so whenever my Jeep turns on, turn the key on, or uh, type in the code, it uh, will supply the relays with power. Oh, but that's about it. Everything looks like it's working great. Also, you can see with these things the uh, light sensor I have set up. As you can see here's my light sensor. It goes inside the Jeep. If I hold it down, there it goes. Great. Thanks guys.